The Department of Justice is reporting 21% of corrections officer positions funded by Congress remain unfilled. KIMT News 3's Brandon Cote is here with us live from the Federal Medical Center to see how Rochester's prison system is handling the nationwide shortage. Brandon. Yeah, Tyler, early today, the prison held a recruiting event to fill the much needed staffing positions in the medical field with nurses and the corrections officers. I spoke with the executive assistant with the, med with the Federal Medical Center who tells me they are looking to hire about 30 corrections officers, registered nurses, and nursing assistants. One recruitment incentive the, pr the prison is adding this year is to bring in more employees by adding a signing bonus. Both corrections officers and nurses receive a $10,000 signing bonus. According to the Federal Medical Center officials, the federal prison system suffered from the pandemic similarly to other healthcare industries when it comes to filling job vacancies for nurses. We've got quite a few though as does pretty much everyone in this area. As you know, Rochester is, uh, there's a great amount of competition in this area for any of the medical professions. For those looking to join the Federal Medical Center, visit KINT.com to see how you can apply. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KINT News 3. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. And in a 2021 Federal Bureau of Prison Staff Safety Survey, 78% of respondents described their facilities correctional officer staffing as insufficient.